Hello my friends, in today's video we will take a look at the best accessories for DJI Pocket 2. Just like with the original Osmo Pocket, accessories are a big part of the Pocket ecosystem. In this video we will take a look at some of the accessories that I really like to use with Pocket 2 and I will try to show you how you can use those in a creative way. Links to all of these items are in the description, so let's get right into it. I will start with the extra contents of the creator combo to find out whether it is worth getting. Do it all handle is a new accessory which indeed does a lot of things. First of all it adds the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection. It wirelessly gives you the same options that you would get by connecting the camera through the expansion port. The connection is very straightforward and it is 100% reliable with iOS and most Android smartphones. The second feature of Do It All Handle is the 3.5mm input jack. You can use it to connect the external microphone and also the headphones. That allows you to monitor the audio, which is a unique feature in this category. There is also a quarter inch mount on the bottom side. I prefer quarter inch mount over the GoPro mount because it makes the mounting much easier. There is also a USB-C port on the back side, which means that you can charge the Pocket 2 with the handle attached. It also serves as a grip extension, so it somewhat improves the handling. An important thing is that the Pocket 2 can still be stored in the case with handle attached. Overall, I would say that it is a very useful accessory and probably a must have if you want to improve the sound quality as I will explain later. You will also get this small tripod which is surprisingly usable. It is extremely small and it actually has a decent ball head. It can be screwed onto the case and stored that way. It is definitely nice to have. Mounting the Pocket 2 is generally a lot easier because the base with quarter inch thread comes with the Pocket 2. That means that you can use it with any mounting plate or just mount it directly to smaller tripod. My most favorite tripod for small cameras is still Manfrotto B3 Advanced. It is very high quality, pretty light and it has excellent ball head. I have upgraded it with Arca Swiss mounting system so it can be used with any Arca compatible plate. One of the most important accessories for Pocket 2 is the wide angle lens. That one is very impressive. It is 0.75 times lens so it gives you 15mm focal length. Optically it is excellent. The image quality with the ultra wide lens at least matches GoPro Hero 9. I think that it greatly increases the versatility of Pocket 2 and it gives you completely different type of footage. It also works with Osmo Pocket, so I think that it is definitely worth getting. A very basic, but in my opinion important accessory is a screen protector. Pocket display is not the most scratch resistant, so I highly recommend using it. This one is from PGY Tech, but those are unfortunately no longer available. I would probably recommend screen protectors from Spigen, because I have good experiences with their products for other devices. Let's move on to the filters. I have tested various filters from Freewell, Polar Pro and PGY Tech using 64 megapixel stills. In terms of the image quality, you won't be able to tell the difference. In terms of the sharpness, you also won't be able to see the difference between having the filter or not. That means that you can simply choose the filter package that is the best for you. The best all-round package is in my opinion Freewell All Day Package. It consists of ND4, 8 and 16 without polarizer and ND8, 16, 32 and 64 with polarizer and no neutral density circular polarizer. That should cover all of your needs. It also comes in a new compact magnetic case. Majority of the filters can be used on both Osmo Pocket 1 and Pocket 2. You can also get all kinds of specialized filters for Pocket 2. There is the ND1000 filter, night pollution filter, fixed graduated filters and even circular graduated filters. 
I explained how they work in my Osmo Pocket Accessories video, which will also be linked in the description. Another new accessory is the mini control stick. That gives you an extra button and a joystick. The button switches follow mode, so it is very useful. The joystick can control zoom or gimbal position. The follow speed of the joystick movement can be adjusted, and it is very smooth and slow at the slowest setting. Overall, I am very happy with the mini control stick. Regarding the original expansion kit for Osmo Pocket, that still works with Pocket 2. That includes the controller wheel. I still like to use it, but the disadvantage is that there are no settings for the controller wheel. You can modulate the speed by applying force to the wheel, but sensitivity settings would be very welcome. Considering that the control stick module is much smaller, I probably prefer it at the moment. The original action mount for Osmo Pocket also works with Pocket 2. That is actually my favorite way of mounting Pocket 2 in car in combination with PGY Tech suction cap. This is by far my most favorite suction cap, so I also use it for action cameras. The wireless module also works the same way as with the Osmo Pocket. If you don't need to record audio with Pocket 2, it is an alternative to do it all handle. One of the accessories that I've been using a lot with Pocket 2 is the smartphone holder. I've tried all of them and the best one in my opinion is PGY Tech Phone Holder Plus. I use it when I want to do something more serious with Pocket 2 and it is connected to my smartphone. I usually mount this setup on a tripod using quarter inch mount. It also has a cold shoe. The build quality of this holder is great. It is completely metal and it is by far the most solid Pocket 2 phone holder. Next up, we will take a look at the new cases by Scotty Makes Stuff. They also make 4th axis stabilizers, but we will get to that later. The first one is the slim case. You can basically just slide the Pocket 2 into the case, close it with the cap, and it will protect the whole device. It has a cutout on the front side, so it is also compatible with controller wheel and control stick. A great feature is that it has a quarter inch mount on the bottom side and on both sides for mounting the Osmo Pocket in horizontal or vertical position. It is made to be used with a quarter inch mount adapter. That way you can secure it using the included screw. It adds some bulk, but it also improves the grip and it protects the device, so I really like to use it. It is also possible to close the case with wide angle lens attached, which was a highly requested feature. My most favorite case is the slim case for content creators combo. It basically works the same, but it works with do it all handle attached. An advantage of this one is that you can use the USB-C port on the do it all handle. The Pro case is basically a heavy duty version of the previous case. It has an ergonomic shape with finger grooves. Quarter inch mounts are placed higher on this one, so it is more suitable for mounting. It also has a slot for separate SD card. This one has a different gimbal cover with rotating mechanism. If you use your Pocket 2 a lot and you are not that concerned with portability, this is probably the best choice. For the storage and transportation, I use two PGY Tech carrying cases. The smaller one is Carry Case Mini, which I use to store the essential kit. Here I keep the Pocket 2, most of the Creator Combo accessories, Freewell All Day filters, and some other stuff. It comes with dividers, so you can configure it according to your needs. The upper part has some smaller pockets for cables and a handy net, which I use for the filters. The larger carrying case is similar, there is just more space inside, so we can use it for example for 4 action cameras, Osmo Pocket and Pocket 2. The upper part also has some loops for cables and other stuff and also the net. Both of these cases are super high quality, very durable and I like the material a lot. I can generally highly recommend these cases. 
A very special piece of accessory for Pocket 2 is the 4th Axis Stabilizer by Scotty Makes Stuff. Osmo Pocket is 3 axis gimbal, which means that it can't smooth out up and down movement. That is less of a problem on Pocket 2 because it uses wider field of view. Scotty Makes Stuff makes 4th axis gimbal, which can very significantly improve that. I've been getting really good results while using this, just be aware that it moves a lot, so it seems like the footage will be all over the place, but it actually looks really good. Regarding the sound recording, you have basically four options. The first one is just to use the internal microphones. Pocket 2 has four microphones and it provides the best audio quality of all consumer cameras that I've ever tested. The second option is to connect the do-it-all handle. That one has the fifth microphone facing towards the operator. The third option is to use clip-on wireless microphone, which works with do-it-all handle. The fourth option is to connect an external microphone using a 3.5mm input jack on the do-it-all handle. You can also use the clip-on microphone as a wireless transmitter. My most favorite lav mic is currently Diet TV Lav because it uses smart detection and it has very long cable so it is very suitable for all-round content creation. Last but not least, the micro SD cards that I recommend are SanDisk Extreme, Ultra and Extreme Pro. SanDisk Extreme probably provides the best value and it is sufficiently fast for 4K 60p recording on Pocket 2. So these were my most favorite accessories for DJI Pocket 2. One last thing that I need to address is that all of these accessories are optional. Some say that you need to get a ton of accessories just to make the Pocket 2 work, but that is not true. Pocket 2 is a great camera on its own, but the selection of accessories provides new creative options. It is definitely a significant advantage of DJI Pocket 2. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you like this video and that you have found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.